Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, I just want to talk about Madden NFL ratings, guys. Madden NFL 19 ratings. So let's just get on up, guys. Let's just get on up. Let's talk about the five rookie wide receivers that's top rated in the game this year. It says, commonly, it takes years for a rookie wide receiver to develop into a superstar. NFL playbooks are more complex Defensive schemes are more sting stingier, and the overall talent on the field is a significant step above everything else. But just like with running backs, we've grown to we've grown used to seeing elite level wide receivers talent. Elite level wide receiver talent emerged right out of the gate in, in, in recent years. The New Orleans Saints, Michael Thomas. Tampa Bay Buccaneers Mike Evans and New York Giants Odell Beckham Jr. are recent examples that it's not just running backs that can make an immediate impact in the NFL. And guys, you know, running backs can make an immediate impact, but you know what? Wide receivers can too. If they learn, if they know how to run routes, guys, if they if they if they're good at their craft, they're good at if they can get separation. That's the key, I think, with wide receivers getting separation and you can make an immediate impact in the NFL coming right out of college but guys what that said with that said let's take a look at the top wide receivers coming into the rookie season and Madden NFL 19 let's talk about number one DJ Moore of the Carolina Panthers now DJ Moore he's six foot tall 216 pounds that's a that's a good size wide receiver out of the University of Maryland he was a 24th pick in the first round by the Carolina Panthers. Now, the Panthers desper desperately needed a target outside of Greg Olson. Greg Olson was really their main target uh, uh, that they had to develop their passing attack. With that as their target, they gained one of the more balanced wide receivers in the rookie class. He's not the fastest of the group, and his 90 juke is his best move. But he's but as but he has the best route running ratings. See, there we go with the route running. Better route running ratings with an 83 short, 80 mid, 82 deep. He also sports an 87 spectacular catch. So he can make an immediate impact with those numbers, guys. And 84 catching. He might not be a big time a big time playmaker just yet, but he's a reliable option outside of Olsen and Christian McCaffrey. We can't forget about Christian McCaffrey. All right, guys, let's go to number two. We're talking about Calvin Ridley of the Atlanta Falcons. Now, Calvin Ridley is six foot one, 190 pounds, out of the University of Alabama. He was the 26th pick in the first round by Atlanta. The Falcons' newest pass attack addition is the fastest option among the five rookie wide receivers with a 93 speed. He also possesses more top scores, um, including a 93 acceleration, a 95 agility, and a 91 juke. That 95 agility, look, that, that's that's going to get him separation right there. Um, yeah, that, that agility for him to get open is going to get him that separation that he needs to make an impact his first year in the NFL. His ball carry ratings end up around the mid 80s. Okay, his downside, his hands, his hands, his downside is his hands, I guess, <clears throat> um, as a ball carrier at, at mid 80s. His 81 catching and 78 catching traffic make him the least reliable option among the five wide receivers that's rated here at, coming into the NFL. Ridley is strictly a deep threat. So, he can help the Atlanta Falcons by stretching the field, guys, because it says he's a deep threat. Okay, he has a 93 acceleration. Again, he can get that separation with that 95 agility and that 91 juke. But then again, they say 91 juke, but he's not good as far as carrier ratings. But he got a nice juke. All right, guys, that's Calvin Ridley for the Atlanta Falcons. Let's go to number three. My man, the reason why I say he's my man, we're talking about Dante Pettis, man. Got drafted by the San Francisco 49ers. And the reason why I like Dante Pettis 
It's because he came out of the University of Washington, baby. Right up here in Seattle. And I love to meet some Washington Huskies. This guy can play. This guy can play. Okay, Dante Pettis, guys, he's 6'1", 195 pounds. It seems like that's the kind of average height and weight um, out of the University of Washington. He was the 44th pick in the second round uh, by the San Francisco 49ers. I think the San Francisco 49ers is putting some stuff together, man. See, that's what I like about GMs, man. They put things together, man, and make things just, just they just start putting their team together. But well, Dante Pettis is coming in Madden with a 76 overall rating, guys. Now, Pettis and the other wide receivers mentioned so far are under the deep threat archetype. Okay, so he has a deep threat archetype. So he's he carries similar scores in his ratings at 90 speed. He doesn't carry the same breakaway potential as Moore or Ridley, but his hands are a nice trade-off. So he's got good hands, guys. I've seen him play. He doesn't, anything within his area, he's going to catch the ball. And 85 catching makes him the most dependable of the of this five. He can't do anything too fancy because he, he doesn't look that athletic, I don't think, but he gets the job done with it, with it once he catches it. But once he catches it, guys, they're right. He can make things happen. Without, the, w without a ball-carrying move above 90, but at least he can grab the ball pass if it's within his reach just like i said guys just like i said dante pettis is gonna make some noise especially in the, in the kickoff or punt return situation and special teams uh coming into the san francisco 49ers now let's go to number four we're talking about Cortland sutton man with the denver broncos okay now Cortland sutton guys he's 6 3 he's a little taller 218 pounds out of smu he was the 40th pick in the second round by the Denver Broncos, of course. All right, it says his overall rating is 75 coming into Madden this year. Now, standing at 6'3", Sutton is destined to be a big red zone threat. Yes, yeah, 6'3 and above, man, yeah, he, he, he will be a threat. They will probably be keen on him at the same time. And 89 speed doesn't necessarily make him a burner, but his size makes him a quality option uh, within scoring distance, which is true. It's pairing um, of 89 spectacular catch. Ooh, that's pretty good. 86 catch in traffic is the best in the rookie class. Considering the options, the other options at wide receiver in, in Denver, um, Sutton could attract some on Drew worthy mismatches. And he's right. He will, at 6'3, you know, your average corner is what, 5'10. 5'11", maybe six foot tall. Um, so he will have some matchup. So he can make an impact right away, guys, right away. And, you know, every every wide receiver in this class has has their strength and weaknesses, guys. And that's what I like about archetypes coming into Madden this year. You know, you got your deep threat. You got your route running. You got your uh, slot receiver. All the, see, all those things, you know, certain guys can catch better. Some guys got better catching traffic. But they all can make things happen, guys. That's the key. Let's go to number five. Uh, finally, we got Anthony Miller of the Chicago Bears. Now, Anthony Miller is coming in at a 74 overall coming into the NFL. Now, Anthony Miller, he's 5'11". He's a little bit shorter. He has 185 pounds out of the University of Memphis. He was the 51st pick of the second round by the Chicago Bears. Now, it says Miller uh, rounds out this top five as a solid route runner. See, that's his advantage right there. It's saying clearly he's a great route runner. So most quarterbacks love great route runners. They can, they can get them the ball. They know how to get themselves open, man. But lacks the moves to break off after the catch. So he's not like a run after catch guy. He's not really. So that makes it. But his strength is, hey, as long as he can get the ball, get open, that's what quarterbacks want. With routes, his 82 short and 80 mid are second only to more among the top five. His 80 catching is the lowest of the bunch. Okay. Uh, play style wise, he's a more agile. See, he, he got that agile archetype. Sutton with lesser hands, but better stick moves. All right, guys, those are our top uh, rookie wide receivers coming into Madden NFL this year, coming into the NFL period. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. 
Uh, this is great. I love talking about these ratings and how these guys are coming into the NFL and how they can be used and mad in the NFL 19. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. But if you're new to the channel, guys, it would really be nice if you hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports. Hang out with Hollywood Sports and we can do this thing together. And as always, hopefully, I will see everybody on my next video. So let's just get on up.